Hi, I'm Eric Winans, Research Farm Manager and Technical Agronomist for Brant. Today we're out at our research farm at Pleasant Plains, Illinois, and we have corn anywhere from V2 to V5, and soybeans anywhere from that first to second trifoliate. And so we're gearing up for our post applications, getting on our post-emergent herbicides uh, here this week. With this year that we've had, we've been really uh, you know, cool through planting season up until this stage, and then we've actually been really saturated here the past couple weeks. And so under these cool wet conditions, we can actually end up with some zinc deficiencies. And, and a, another nutrient that uh, can become deficient under wet conditions uh, would be sulfur. Addressing those would be vastly important at this stage when we're trying to set our yield potential. Uh, a product like Brant Smart Trio is a great product that you can apply with your herbicides. It's, it's really compatible with a lot of your corn herbicides, your uh, Roundups, Atrazines, Liberties, uh, to get um, some zinc, manganese boron, and sulfur on at this stage. So now with soybeans at this stage, we're trying to you know, mitigate the stress from applying that, that herbicide, help the crop um, metabolize the herbicide that we're applying, and manganese can be really important for that, and it's also really important for chlorophyll production and maximizing photosynthesis at, the, at this stage. So, so moly, manganese, and zinc all really important for soybeans at this stage as well. And we have a, a suite of micronutrient packages, including Brant Smart uh, Sulfur Plus and Brant Smart Quattro Plus that are uh, compatible with some of our dicamba herbicides and uh, our, our liberties at this stage. And as we progress throughout the growing season, as we get into our tassel sprays and in-season management uh, practices, we'll keep you updated on what we have going on out here.